Well, I decided to try to pick up on a project here. Uh, wanted a trailer, and I have a friend who needed to get rid of a trailer, need some money. So I bought this monstrosity. And the reason why I bought it, one of the main reasons I bought it is because the uh, tires that she had bought for it were all brand new uh, from her old work, which is a trailer trailer place. So she got brands making new 15 inch ST tires all around on brand new rims and the front axles. It's a dual axle 3,500 pound uh, trailer axles that have uh, electronic brakes in the front. So just those alone, I felt were worth the $500 asking price. <clears throat> and it came with this camper that I thought about kind of ripping the windows out and stuff. It's pretty torn up on the inside. I'll give you a view of that here in a bit, but it's an all steel trailer. It's got the old tongue on it. You know, those are kind of a pain, but I'm going to work it in a little bit and see how it works. I can always change it out. It's got this old, almost looks like a, if anybody knows what that is. I think it's like a brake or a uh, suspension system or something like that, but um, it used to have hydraulic brakes here. You can see, you know, there and Here's where your propane, dual propane tanks were. This used to be a uh, a travel trailer. Uh, and I measured it out because I was told it was 16 foot. So this is going to make this a little bit interesting. It's actually 17 foot 3 inches. So I can't use standard 16 inch lumber, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but, yeah, I got some things here I need to clean up on it, you know. Grind that down. So the plan is to cut all this old stuff out that I don't need here. The old trailer brakes and cables and hydraulic lines. Clean everything up and then I, I might sand it down or a uh, sandblast it rather. <clears throat> Media blast of some sort. But this old old camper, it's kind of interesting. Actually, it's a pretty good working stove in it. They built this wood frame out for it. That's those tires that, that came with it. Brands making new. Super STs, West Lakes. So they should be okay. They have uh, six, seven miles on them. And you've got, you know, here's the camper. A couple jack stands that are, some work, some don't. Yeah, it's, uh, it needs some work. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, uh, I got a couple people who might be interested in buying it. And any money that I get from selling. Uh, this camper dumping it off for free or scrapping pieces out of it. Basically, I'll uh, I'll be uh, putting towards the trailer project. So, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. But the idea is eventually turn this into a really nice trailer. Put some wood decking on it, build it all up, and for 500 bucks, you know, I couldn't have bought the the tires like that alone. Not to mention axles with um, with brakes on them too. So. Yeah, door doesn't even stay closed, so. There's all kinds of goodies that came along with it. Ignore my other projects over here. It's propane tanks and stuff that they clearly tried doing. It actually has a working stove inside this thing, so to me, you know, if anybody wanted to even rip this apart, if they wanted a stove and some windows, all the windows actually are functioning and just need to be cleaned up, but they're working completely fine. There was a couple tools in there. Some extension cables, two inch ball hitch, and let's see these little links pieces here. And I think she said she bought 25 foot of this brand new, brand new cable to plug in for the uh, trailer lights. So I'll have a cable already. Around and this is only 17 foot 3 inch, even up to the front, it can't be more than 25, so it may be perfect the perfect length I need to get back to all my lights and and all that. Uh, also, real quick, it's got the uh, A frame style, it doesn't look like really anything was ever really mounted there, not anytime lately. Uh, so, I plan on doing uh, an electronic one. That what I'll do is I'll set up a plug here on the trailer, that's the idea anyway. A plug on the trailer where I can plug it in so it pulls power directly from a vehicle or from a battery here or I can plug it in directly if I want to to something else so that if battery dies I'm not reliant or not reliant on a battery I can use the vehicle if need be or 
I can plug it in directly to something else if I want. So that's what I've seen online. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun project. So, catch you guys later.